you chaps think, because of the way people have written and built it up and so on, that a fighter pilot was absolutely non-stop in the air, you know, for 18 hours a day doing battle. This is not so. You spent uh, probably three or four or five hours in the air in intervals uh, of an hour at a time or an hour and a half. A tremendous exhilaration, you know, a tremendous excitement. And then you sat out there in the sunshine, uh, eating or drinking tea or coffee or something, or playing the gramophone, the ones that used to wind up, you know, playing cards. Uh, long hours of boredom, uh, interspersed with hours or minutes of tremendous exhilaration. I was outside the guardroom, uh, waiting for transport to take me to Falmere. And there was a hurricane doing hesitation rolls. And you know, I thought, oh, perfect, absolutely perfect, hesitation rolls. And I said, who on earth is that? And they said, oh, that's Mr. Barder. Most extraordinary man, very kind, very considerate. This man who put one foot on Barder's aircraft, and we, he, he was only a tra another tradesman going up there to refill. And he put his foot on with his boot on. And Barder tore him off a strip. Then there was the other occasion when the cookers wouldn't put a meal on for us because we'd been flogging away and they had their regular meal times and they're gone and he wouldn't put the meal on for us. He went down there and created murder. And he told them, he goes up in the air to shoot aircraft down. We're all fighting this war, even these lads. Get them something. And they produce something. He was arrogant to them, but we thought he was great. From the wafts on the uh, plotting table and everything else, God, they must have heard some juicy language at times. He had the worst language on the air that ever had came across. <laughs> the language is absolutely incredible, yeah, incredible. From, because they heard it direct from the cockpit to, to the ops room, yeah.